Now people are always saying to me, Hi, Mungo, what was it that first fired up your passion for all things gastronomic? And I always have to say to them, why it was some food which I once ate when I was a child. Indeed, I learned to appreciate the real value of home cooking on those occasions when my eating privileges would be withdrawn, perhaps due to some youthful misdemeanour. Or perhaps on one of those occasions when, as a family, we experienced financial hardship after one of my father's visits to his turf accountant. But it was in one of those periods of my childhood that we received a visit from my dear old Uncle Benny. Benny was by this time a widower after his wife from the old country, Auntie Plumpkin, passed away following a bizarre picnic accident. Through a combination of necessity and the early onset of dementia, old Uncle Benny had taken to creating his own special brand of cuisine as a kind of gastronomic tribute to his dear defaulted wife. He turned up an old doorstep with jars of salted this and pickle that and he'd insist that I eat such copious amounts of food that I would often have difficulty breathing. Oh, how we still laugh in our household at such memories. And it's one of these dishes that I want to share with you today. A dish that back in the old country would have been eaten on Christmas Eve to ward off any ethnically different sprites. And that dish is called sauerkraut, accompanied by a pea and paprika jus. And here I'm holding in my hand a jar of the choicest sauerkraut that I purchased from my local Eastern European mini market. I chose this particular variety as I believe that it best resembles my Uncle Benny's speciality, both in texture and in odour. Now in the old country, this dish would have taken my Uncle Benny many months to prepare. He would have to sauce the earthiest of cabbages and other root vegetables that would then be preserved in barrels with his mixture of brine, vinegar and special secret spices. But with the latest influx of Eastern Europeans to our shores, which at times threatens our national identity, it seems that the old country, with all of its strange and wonderful dishes, has come to us. But before we get to that, we have to prepare our pea and paprika jus. Now, all I need for this dish is a tin of the finest quality choice pea soup, as well as a surprise ingredient which gives this entire meal that special Christmas twist. First, I pour my tin of soup into a saucepan and bring it gingerly to the heat so that it does not stick to the base of the pan, thus creating carbonised lumps. When it is heated thusly, we add our surprise ingredients, an old family favourite, smoked paprika. Now the fragrant aroma transforms this dish into a uniquely honest peasant fare. We then take some of our specially purchased sauerkraut and place a portion into a dish. Now because it has already undergone a curing process, there is no need to add any further ingredients. Indeed, to do so would be like vandalising the memory of my uncle's dear departed wife. 
And so traditionally, we would serve this combination of foods by simply ladling a few spoons of the warm pea and paprika broth over the cold sauerkraut. And so, here it is, my Uncle Benny's sauerkraut with a pea and paprika jus. And now, all we need is a fork and some excited taste buds. Mmm. 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 Mmm.